Hello and welcome, gentlemen, to today's special weather forecast program. We are very pleased to see you again in what is considered one of the most important bulletins since the beginning of this hurricane season. The reason is clear, in the next seven days, a series of unusual and extreme weather phenomena will unfold simultaneously. Three major threats are right ahead of us. First, the potential development of two strong and of two strong tropical storms in the Atlantic Ocean at the same time with at least one of them possibly threatening the U.S. mainland, second, severe weather conditions bringing thunderstorms, damaging winds, large hail, and isolated tornadoes that could impact more than 100 million people today and tomorrow, and third, a dangerous heat wave set to return, pushing temperatures across much of the Midwest and eastern states far above long-term averages. Truly, this will be a week when weather becomes highly unpredictable, requiring both citizens and authorities to remain on high alert. Let us begin with the current situation across the United States. At this moment, a band of thunderstorms has developed, stretching from Texas through Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Tennessee all the way into the Northeast. Yesterday, many areas reported heavy rain, damaging winds, and hail. Fortunately, no major tornadoes were observed but localized crop damage and infrastructure losses were recorded in Arkansas and northern Texas. Still, the Storm Prediction Center, SPC, has issued a warning, today and tomorrow. More than 100 million residents remain at risk of severe weather. The main hazards include destructive straight-line winds capable of toppling trees and tearing roofs. Localized hail up to 2 to 4 centimeters in diameter and the possibility of short-lived tornadoes across the Ohio Valley. A rare bright spot in this storm system is the rainfall it delivers. As you know, the Ohio River Basin and the lower Mississippi Valley have been enduring severe drought for weeks. Affecting agriculture, river transport, and daily life, these rains, despite their disruptive nature, will help ease water shortages, restore soil moisture, and partially support farm production. Meanwhile, other regions such as the Pacific Northwest, the Northern Plains, and the West Coast remain relatively calm, with no major disturbances expected in the coming days. Now turning to the hottest topic of this bulletin, the Atlantic Ocean. After an unusually quiet stretch, the tropics are now heating up rapidly, signaling one of the most active phases of the season so far. Currently, three systems are under close watch by international meteorological centers. First, Hurricane Gabriel has strengthened and is moving away from the U.S. toward the Azores. Residents there should brace for strong winds and heavy rains within the next 24 to 48 hours. Second and third, two new disturbance zones have emerged, one near Puerto Rico, the other north of the Lesser Antilles. Forecasts suggest at least one of these may strengthen into a tropical storm within the next five to seven days. If so, the next storm will be named Humberto, followed by Melton. The most concerning system is the one near Puerto Rico and the Bahamas. Early signals suggest this could develop into a dangerous storm, potentially tracking toward northern Florida or the Carolinas. A direct U.S. landfall cannot be ruled out. Should that scenario play out, it would mark the first major land threat of this hurricane season for the mainland. What makes the situation even more extraordinary is the possibility of a Fujiwara interaction, when two cyclones spin near each other, orbiting around a common center, sometimes altering paths dramatically or even merging into a superstorm. Though rare, this phenomenon has been documented historically and is notoriously difficult to forecast. If storms Humberto and Gabriel, or Humberto and Meldon, draw close enough, a Fujiwara event could occur early next week. Forecast models at this stage present conflicting outcomes. The European model, ECMWF, shows a strong storm forming north of Puerto Rico with another low developing near the Bahamas. Only a few hundred kilometers apart, a setup conducive to Fujiwara. The American GFS model, on the other hand, depicts a storm approaching the South Carolina-Georgia coast early next week before being pushed back out to sea. Ensemble projections are widely scattered, some keep the storms offshore, while others show direct landfalls along the southeast U.S. coast. This underscores the current high uncertainty, and forecasts will need constant updates in the coming days. 
Alongside Atlantic developments, Americans must prepare for widespread thunderstorms over the next 48 hours. Today, Wednesday, about 40 million people from Kentucky down to the Gulf Coast are under alert. The primary risks are damaging winds, heavy rain, and hail. Tomorrow, Thursday, the threat area expands across the entire East Coast from Virginia to Massachusetts, impacting some 70 million residents. Tornado potential is low but not negligible, particularly in the Appalachian region. Florida remains a hotspot for localized flooding, especially from Miami to Orlando. Mountain states such as Colorado, New Mexico, North Dakota, and Montana also face a 15% flash flood risk due to heavy rainfall along mountain slopes. Beyond storms and rain, another serious concern is the looming heat wave. After a brief spell of cooler, autumn-like air, many had hoped for an early fall. Yet, oppressive heat is returning with even greater intensity. Beginning this weekend into early next week, temperatures across the Midwest and Ohio Valley are forecast to soar to 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 to 37 degrees Celsius. In states such as Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois, heat indices could reach 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. These levels are far above seasonal averages, putting strain on agriculture, public health, and power consumption. The heat wave may persist through at least the end of next week. Intensifying drought risks, wildfire danger, and energy demand across much of the Midwest and Eastern U.S. only a few areas, such as parts of the Southeast Coast, California, and the Pacific Northwest, will enjoy relatively comfortable conditions. In summary, over the next seven days, the United States will face a highly complex weather pattern. The Atlantic is likely to generate at least one new storm, possibly posing a direct landfall threat. Severe thunderstorms with damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes may impact up to 100 million residents today and tomorrow. And finally, a widespread heat wave is poised to return, pushing temperatures well above normal and creating major challenges for daily life and industry. Thank you for joining us in today's special weather news forecast. To stay updated with our next critical bulletins, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss the latest information. As soon as new model data and official advisories from the National Hurricane Center are released, we will return with fresh updates. We wish you safety and peace amid these unpredictable weather events.